Hi everybody, my name is Vesatiane and today I'm going to CFD simulation results on the solar heat collector I released on 26th of September. Big thanks to EQM Solutions who did the CFD simulation of the first three model and now I will go through how the airflow inside that uh, collector was and how I think I will improve it for the next simulation and what problems it had. The basic construction is that it has uh, this kind of four lower chambers which are under aluminum tin foil and on the top side there's big uh, volume which is also a little bit bigger. It's 20 millimeter uh, thick on the other side and top is 30 millimeter thick so there's more volume on the top side of the uh, top side of the collector I air will go inside density is there and stuff like that the 140 millimeter fan which I have selected can produce 2.27 meters 2.27 meters per second airspeed and it will enter at the bottom and will go throughout same size hole at the top. What the results of the simulation show on the left side you have the top part and on the right side you have the underside part. Let's go through first the uh, left side of the simulations you can see air is not flowing nicely there's about 30 percent of the surface area doesn't have much airflow that will cause hot spots for the aluminium or inside the collector and it, it's not good for efficiency so we need to get more uniform uh, flow through the top side of the collector uh, flow wise uh, 43% of the air goes on the top, it should be more, and on the underside 47% of the air goes on the underside. Uh, that's closer to what's the target, but still too much. Uh, on the lower side, under the aluminum foil, air is flowing much more nicely, but there are still problems. There's too much airflow going through the center chain, chain channels, and less flow in the uh, side channels. Also there are spots where there are minimum airflow which are caused in this case by these ribs mainly. I need to make these ribs smaller so air will have smoother route to these corner chambers and in the center I will need to shorten it also. On the top corners on both simulations or both chambers there's quite little flow there so that needs to be solved also. Uh, I had also four inlet holes here where I, I estimated that air will go in from this hole and get fresh air but a previous simulation uh, or previous design of the a collector I had the fan in other position then it would have sucked the air out now it will push air out about 10% so it's not working. So I need to block these holes, but these holes do have a purpose here. It shows that they will help to air pull towards the lower side of the collector also. So that's a good thing for future design for the next version. A little bit different colored graphics, same can be here. More airspeed is, is at the entry and exit and slower airspeed on the other side. Uh, this should be as close to same color as possible, then it would be best that there is only one same airspeed going through all, all of the collector. Again, next, next kind of uh, visualization of this shows more clearly that there's no airspeed going here and it, that's a big problem. All the blue ones are big problems in this simulation. <sighs> Again, pressure chart. The pressure is only at the entry point and not much more else. More close up picture on the underside of the chambers. You can see that the problem here is caused by this 
this rib is too close to the entry point and it will divert air fast moving air away from that so if i make it shorter i will make it 60 millimeters shorter air will have more time to start flowing along that rib and here i will lock make it 120 millimeters shorter so air will have better flow possibility here to get more even airflow there some cool uh, simulations how the air will go inside the chambers here the, on the left side you will have the top flow and on the right side you will have the underside flow so you can see that air is not going there about 30 percent of the area and but you can also see that when it enters the square holes it will go 90 degree angle from the uh, uh, straight edge and likes to go that way most so that we, we can use as uh, information when we make the next design because air likes to go both ways like this and that's a clear pattern how the air likes to go there on the other side uh, simulation you can see it starts to back swirl here so that's not good either it will create the hot spots and you can see how how here could be smooth and the road if this is shorter it will have possibility to go more air there and in both versions the top corners have almost no airflow so that needs to be sold also that's about that Here's the mass flow numbers. About 10% of the air escapes from the bottom holes. I will block those. Mass flow and pressure drops. Most pressure drop happens at the small holes at the bottom. Those will be blocked. And here's the first picture of what I actually did to solve these problems. Uh, first, I will have an overlay here on the right side, uh, how, how it will look. So here is 120 millimeters shorter rip. You can see that there was the blue area and now it should cover more that and get much better flow. Here you can see the shorter rip there. So air will have more time to start going along that direction. And there's a 45 degree wedge edge on both sides. Also here, I have made it a little bit shorter, the side ones, and also wedge, wedge corners there. Uh, how to get more air to the corners on the top? The exit holes have triangle, triangle shapes, and uh, one exit hole is exactly at the corner. So air will go on the top side and we go to the corner and then exit along the bottom side. And these are not all here so they are aligned a little bit like this so it will have more uniform flow here and on these three holes the air will then mix also a little bit to the flow that's coming under under there and will mix even more for the entry i have now uh, modeled the fan there actually so for the next simulation the air will be more turbulent when it enters uh, the collector but here to simulate the same effect that the small holes has uh, these three triangle shaped entry holes have the same surface area as the score square entry hole there on the previous simulation and now it will pull air same way towards the sides and uh, more air will be able to go on the top side of the collector and less will then start going through these other side of the collectors there is uh, a new parts also modeled here so not just made this shorter but i have also made this kind of uh, distributor distributor uh, buffle plate here which will uh, uh, make sure that 40.8 percent of the air will go through the underside and 59.2 percent will go on the top side of the collector because there will be uh, 20 holes about 18 millimeter diameter on the underside and on the top side 29 holes so that's the uh, numbers how we will divert, divert the air how much air will go on which side and here you can see how the air will go 
from the triangle holes, when it comes to the top part, side of the, it will have the same effect and in the previous simulation that air wants to go 90 degree from the straight edge, so it will create like this and it will make air collide each other and will make it turbulent air here and when it hits the uh, collector or, or the divider plate there the air speed, speed will in increase to 2.8 meters per second based on surface areas and Reynolds numbers would be 3100 or something like that so it should make this kind of high speed turbulent uh, cones moving air towards the bottom of the collector and I hope the position is so that it will have enough force to be turbulent all the way to the back side of the collector and then go through the holes nicely so the position of this uh, divider can be changed a little bit depending how, how the first or, or the second simulation looks now I, I do want to point out here that I'm really happy that EQM Solutions have made this simulation thanks to Gaurav Kamde for making it especially in this short short time frame and uh, I'm not an aerodynamics expert at all but this is how I, 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 I plan to tackle the problems which we're able to see on the first simulation uh, let me know what you think uh, will will this calculation work on 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 the reynolds number and turbulent will the air be turbulent here and how how you think air will divide uh, you can read all this with time if you steal the video and see how it goes now I want to wish you a very good weekend and let me know what you think and how you could improve the design even more. Target is to have a simple and easy open shirt solar air heat collector that everybody could make. That's why I have made this divider plate with holes because you can drill the holes or you can CNC water cut the holes and then bend, bend those plates if needed depending which which kind of tools and materials are at your hand but the basic construction is very very easy and very simple to make and and the efficiency should be quite nice when it's finished thanks for watching and keep tuning your products